do your job during the week. I wouldn't have to f***ing be out here on the weekends doing your job. All this stupid s*** you're doing today, you could have been doing it on your own. This is your one chance. I'm giving you one chance to get all this s*** together. Breakfast this morning. Yeah, leftovers. No, you're oh, eating no. your breakfast. Eat your breakfast. Your breakfast. What is it? Potatoes? I'm having a half of a burger left over from the last the night before his dinner. Oh my god. I got the bacon that she cooked for breakfast yesterday. And Alani made a bunch of potatoes and sprinkled some eggs in it. You know what? It's all you can eat for five ninety-five, baby. Today is a very nice day. Today's Sunday. Are we sitting around doing nothing on a Sunday? No. We've been lucky today to have special guests. Jimmy Hart finally came and paid me a visit. He's so busy. He's going to Vegas. He's going here. He's going there. Once in a while, he'll stop in and see his poor old friend Ben. So today we're going to hang out with Jimmy Hart and we're going to go around with Paulie and see what he's been up to. And uh, that's what we're doing today. Working, baby. Checking on our properties. Checking on our ass. You know, we got a big shot celebrity. We bring out the big baby. The Rose, baby. You know, we can't take him out in a Kia. Come on in, Jimmy. Make yourself at home. I thought you were sitting back there. No, I don't sit in the back. What? That's the big shots. Oh, big shots. On. All right. Here we go. Oh, my gosh. I love this. I feel like a star again. Oh, I love that song, Madonna. We have some guests that came by to say hello from Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Come get your cheese curds. Cheese so curds basically, there. you didn't own you didn't own real estate. You watched the show and then you went out and got bought a duplex? I watched the show. I, I, I wanted a duplex and got into real estate and now I want more. <laughs> That's great. So now, is the duplex making money or what? It's making money. Cash flow. That's it. Owner occupied and we rent out the other half. Very good. So you're living for free. Yep, living for free. John's We're going to go to John's Pass. We're going to run John's around, Pass. check out some real estate. We're going to hang out with Jimmy Hart. I'm trying to talk in putting a new restaurant in there. Jimmy Hart's Bandito's Cantina Tex-Mex Restaurant. Have Too long of a name. Home. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's a great day. Hey, look, I even brought the maraca. Yeah. <laughs> what nice people. That was great. Everybody that watches this channel is nice people. And they all have the same story. They watch me, they get off their ass, they bought something, and they improved the, 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 the life, you know? We're in business here. How's this place looking? All right, all right, what's going on here? This place is hopping today, man. Look at this, man. I remember when you looked at this one, you were gonna buy it, remember? You told me not to. I know, I said, I wouldn't buy this place. Everything I've told you not to do, you've done, and you made money. And, and I was wrong. Here we are, we're at John's Pass. No place to park, that's a good thing. So, we're at the park in a no parking zone. You think they're gonna tow me? Maybe. Mm -hmm. I'm Ben, I'm the owner. Oh, how do you do, sir? Pretty good, how are you? Hi, very well. Thank Everything you. going good with the parking garage today? Uh, yes, sir. We're giving out tickets to people mm -hmm. ain't paying? Oh, yes, sir, when I have the chance, yeah. Very good. You got the chance. Yes, sir, I do. <laughs> we all know Mike passed away. So now Paulie is now responsible for about 10 of our projects. This is probably one of the biggest ones. So over at John's Pass, my responsibility is making sure the property is nice, as nice as this place. That's the whole scope of John's Pass. The problem with these tourist places is they constantly got to be maintained. So you know, I'm not nitpicking, but when the walls start looking shabby, especially Which will be every week. Well, okay. then we have to, I would teach the fucking cleaners how to paint. So, you know, of course, Ben was complaining today about all the deficiencies that he saw at John's Pass, but I just stepped into it. So it's gonna take me a little time to get that all corrected. You know, you need to get a guy to come over here and just maybe once in a while touch up, you know, like this shit. You know, it just makes the place look shabby. Beautiful. Big fan. Oh, good to see y'all, man. Good to see y'all. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> That's one for Jimmy. No, thank you. <laughs> Bye, thank you. Bless America. Yes. All the way, guys. Yeah, put me up. Not right camera. All the way, baby. This is a good day, man. Thanks, you too. That's one for me, one for him. 
We're going to see how many people know me and know Jimmy. How many fans does he get versus me? Right now, it's one to one. Okay. You can't see it all, but it's all cracking, and it looks like this. See, see this? Look at this. You see that? It's all cracking. Where's those cracks That's at? That's all in the columns and stuff. Paint it. No, no. You have to look at it. Look at it. Where's that? It's on the inside. You can't see oh, it. Oh, yeah, go up there and look at it. You know, it has to be redone. It's down. We have to restock with that whole thing and redo it. And that's on us? Yeah. Do we have somebody to fix that? Ben, this whole thing has to be fixed. Not just that. Water's getting inside. Okay? We have to do it with a little flashing up there. Water's getting inside. Stay in people own businesses. There's no sign here even. It's crazy. No sign there, no sign there. Not that it's my business, you know, I'm the owner. Yes. You Why don't are? you guys hang a sign on the front? What's that? Why don't you hang a sign out there on that sign? Oh, thing? if we did have a sign out there, wind the wind blew it off. Yeah, it'd be nice to yeah, help you guys. I'm just thinking of you guys. Yeah. Well, it just blew off a couple days ago. Okay. <laughs> have a nice day. You too. Hey, where does your property end, Brian? Um, right here at this restaurant. That's not mine. So it ends here. Shit, all the people are down there. Hey, buddy, how you doing? What up, man? How are you, baby? What's going on in that parking lot? All these people are backed up getting in here. At John's Pass right now. Why don't you call Stephanie? If I have to, I will. That's the person to call. You get nowhere with anybody else. She doesn't always answer her phone. Bullshit. I'll kill her if she didn't answer her fucking phone. You're out fishing, right? Listen, John's Pass is a, is a wreck. There's traffic backed up in every street there is here. It's, the parking lot's not full. He took the sign down, but you need to check up. The lines are a mile long here. We're causing a major fucking incident here with this. This guy's traffic. giving tickets down here to everybody. You see that? Right. Uh, yes, sir. You're giving out tickets to people ain't paying? Oh, yes, sir, when I have the chance, yeah. Very good. Without starting a fight. When Chuck comes to work, what time does he come to work? In the morning. What does he do? He does maintenance stuff. He does, he's been doing all kinds of stuff, Ben. I see him, he works on over there, works over here. He's doing stuff constantly. Well, for right now, let's at least get somebody over here to freshen up the washing, the painting. This is the type of real estate. You can't just sit back and relax. It ain't happening. But, you know, it's a great place, and I do like it. It's a good asset. Here we are, in the heart of St. Petersburg. Where are we at? A building we bought a year ago. This is the second time I've been here. We picked up this little gem. Why? It's in a great neighborhood. You see all this traffic going back and forth? And this is the weekend. This is a great thriving area. When you want to buy commercial property, you got to buy it in a busy area where people are moving around, spending money. Shit is happening. This building here is great. Look at the tenants we got. Outback Steakhouse. We got Panera Bread. Great neighborhood, triple net, easy to manage, but we got to get in here and fine tune things because the better the place looks, the happier the tenants will be, the happier the customers will be, and we'll all be happy. All right, Paulie, we need to find out, does this belong to the city? Yes. Even though it belongs to the city, it's got weeds, it's got patches, we need to improve the curb appeal. The front of the place looks pretty nice. It doesn't need any paint. Let's walk around and see what don't look good. Hey Ben, can I ask you one thing? When we get through here, can we go across the street to Sunken Gardens? What is Sunken Gardens? Look at it over there. What Look at it? all, it's, it's a beautiful gardens and everything. Flowers and stuff, and they're all sunken in with water running around them. And it's a great tourist attraction. Listen, you'll have plenty of time to be park. around all that shit when you're no longer here. Oh, okay, thanks a lot. When we sink you, we'll sink you into Sunken Gardens. <laughs> as a kid, I could love you. As a, as a grown-up, I gotta love Ben. I love you. Hey, Rafal, how, how are you? How are you? How are you? Said, yeah, I don't know. I heard you bought this one, huh? Yeah, we own this building here. Well, I try to do enough business without back to keep paying your rent. Oh, I appreciate it. Looks like you're doing good, baby. <laughs> ben, it's not, there's nothing. I got a 22 year old wife to keep up with. As long as my check was 22. Buddy, I'm Ooh. not buying Ferraris. I'm buying hey, younger you models. You Smart How guy. Are you? I'm 47. How was your wife? 22. 22. Let me tell you something. This cab driver told me a story one time. And he said, I wish I'd listened to my mother in the first time. I said, What'd your mother tell you? 
She said, "Hunt, son, just remember one thing: two old batteries ain't never started nothing. Nothing. So marry somebody well, younger than you." I'll tell you what's been really good. I got a Canadian, and they let me do what I do. I work hard. I buy a lot of real estate. I just flipped a property on Central, made four hundred grand in twelve months. Congratulations! So I'm just doing what I do, and she stays on her way. And the wife Perfect. my age wanted to know everything I did, where it sits, how much is in this account, yeah, because they yeah. keep track of their dollars when they divorce you. And half, the same is half is theirs, and in premarital mass, it doesn't matter when you have a big income. They're still going to take half. And the cash flow is everything. So I'd rather lose the asset than lose the cash flow. Very, very <laughs> you know? good. You're a smart guy. Hey, I, mean, I enjoy your show. I enjoy Thank the you kids. Much. You guys are awesome. It. All right. So here, this is the front of the property. Stop worrying about across the street. No, we don't own garden. that shit. We own this. this focus on what we own. But the people over there help come over here. Look, sunken gardens. Listen, let's focus on our property. Okay. Now, the question I have is this. It's the front. Rock it, baby. Rock it. So I'd like to see this all filled in with nice rock. These trees look okay right now, but we got a lot of trees in the back. It's the front of an outback and it looks like shit. It looks like it belongs way out back. We got to beef up the land. This area here, something nice could be done. We might need to dig some of this shit out. That's why you rock. Well, either border it or dig it down but this is the entrance to a, a major national brand restaurant, and it could look a lot better than this, you know? What, I mean, are they still Even if you put some big decorative rocks in here. Are they still working in your house? Are they still working in your house? No, how about that? Okay. I want something done here nice. Paulie's got so much work to do. He's got the John's Pass to work on. This over here, he's only one man. Getting way too low. You know, to me, it's embarrassing to own property that looks like this. You know? I really want to get this place cleaned up. We need a major cleanup, and then he needs to come in and make some improvements here that are low maintenance, but attractive. I mean, you know, it's a great property in a great location with really good tenants. Now, we got to do our part as the owners and maintain it and improve it. You know, the last guy we bought it from, he kind of let it go, but now we have to bring it back in. He let it go, we bring it back in, you know, and make it the trophy asset it should be. So now all this belongs to us. Whose building is that? It's a hotel. So they, what do they do for parking? They get their own parking on the other side and the back here. All right, well, find out who owns that hotel and see if they want to sell it. Are you serious? Yes. Why would you want that hotel? Because it's next to a property I own already. So I want the building over there. <laughs> that looks a little more attractive. Seems like all that land is wasted back here. Hey, what Ben, do this just thing? to let you know, all the leaves just finally fell, you know? And now everything's starting to grow back. If you, if you came here every week, you would have been complaining every week. Because it's been a disaster well, every week. I want a major cleanup. Yeah. I want the trees trimmed. I want this place spruced up because it's clear that we've owned this place for a year now and we ain't done shit. And that's not the way it works. Let's go see what the building itself looks like. It's gonna be time for a paint job on these steps. He's a washing and a painting. I wanna see the staircase painted. Daniel has pissed me off lately because he gives you a price and then you gotta bargain him down to half that price. I don't like playing a game. Wait a minute, he's been up in the price. What are you talking so about? So listen, you need to go and you need to look at it this way. You say, listen, one guy in one day mm -hmm. can paint this fucking staircase. Mm -hmm. he, he, if you use the good bucks. materials, it's about a hundred bucks. All right? One guy's worth a couple of hundred bucks, that's three hundred bucks. Well, he's not gonna make no money on it. I, I didn't finish. <laughs> If he tells you, fine, I'll paint this staircase for 600. 500, it's worth it. All right? But we got to get this place cleaned up. It's a great property. You know? I do both stairwells. But, you know, we need to make it, we, we, we need to make this place more pride of ownership. We got big time tenants here. We got great neighborhood tenants here. We got to get this place cleaned up. All right? I haven't been here since I bought it. My fault as usual, but let's get it turned around. If you got a question about real estate, or you want to see what it's like, or how to buy stuff like this, great assets in great neighborhoods, making money, go to consult with Ben, okay? Who better could you consult with? Who do you know right now that you could pick up the phone and talk to 
that's done hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars worth of real estate deals. Who do you know? Well, you know me. Go to bidmal.com, slash shop, consult with Ben, talk to Rafal, book a time, and get me on the phone, and let's start making some money. We looked at our asset that we have. It's been neglected. I'm the first one to admit I've neglected it. You know, things went on in our lives where we got neglected, but now we found that we are, have a problem. We're going to solve the problem. We're going to get Jimmy Hart out here. We're going to get Jimmy a rake. He's going to rake up this whole goddamn place and clean it up. I'm ready, baby. Adios, amigos. Shut up. Put that on my emblem. Subscribe or watch the next Throw your video. window up, we're recording. Or watch the you have no, video. no respect for what we do. I'm trying to get work done. Well, close your window so we ain't got to hear you. We love you. No respect. Fucking do your job during the week. I wouldn't have to fucking be out here on the weekends doing your job. All this stupid shit I've been doing today, you could have been doing it on your own. This is your one chance. I'm giving you one chance to get all this shit together. One chance. One chance. One chance. Hey, Paulie, how you doing? You no. One chance. <laughs> subscribe or hit the video. Tell them, baby. You just did. We need you to subscribe. We need you to watch more videos and hit the goddamn like button. Okay? That's an order. Subscribe button. Subscribe button. I got it right, huh? You got it right. Thank you, boss.